Today, Frontier streamed their new series, Frontier Unlocked, which covers the news and happenings in the Frontier community. And we got some news about Elite Dangerous, which I'm actually pretty excited for. A lot of this stuff I did not expect, and I think it's really great that we're getting some new content for the game. Uh, let's just dive right into what we got today. So starting with the Thargoid War, in Update 18, we will see the culmination of all of the effort that humanity has put into this war with an attack on the Titans themselves. Now, I don't remember if they said this will be the straight-up destruction of the Titans or if this will just be another attack on them, but it will be nice to finally actually get some hits on those big, you know, murder flowers. Now, one thing... I don't think this will actually be the end of the Thargoids. I think it'll be a huge stepping point in the war, but I think there's too much content that's put into the game already for just Thargoid combat that I don't think they'll be removed completely or will win completely. I think they're going to continue to attack. Maybe this is a turning point and we begin to go on the offensive. There is a huge permit locked area that you know we have not really explored yet that the Thargoids are supposed to be from, but... I guess we'll have to just wait and see what happens with this new update. Also announced was a new power play overhaul, which is coming in the summer of 2024. It's interesting to note the timescale here. The power play update will be in uh, the summer, which is update 19. So we should see update 18 within just a few months now, which is, uh, which is good. Elite needs some new content. But about the power play update itself. Now, personally, I was not the biggest fan of power play i thought it was a good system but i don't think it was fleshed out enough there really wasn't much rewards aside from the one module that you can get and there really wasn't that much of an impact on the galaxy as well it only really affected the power play commanders and i'd really like to see power play become like a really good and cool feature that players can participate in i think that would be awesome and now on to my favorite part there are four new ships that will be coming out uh soon and the first one being the Python Mark II, which you can see here. I really like the look of this thing. I, I, it reminds me more of like a combat ship, but I really like that they aren't just doing what they did with the Challenger and the Chieftain and the Crusader and making it basically the same ship with, you know, slight changes. I really like that this looks like a brand new ship. Like they actually went to the design block, took any flaws out of the Python, and then completely redid it and made it work better. And I really like that a lot. I think that... These will be some awesome ships. Hopefully we can get some stuff like the Panther Clipper finally, and maybe some good stuff like that. There is a lot of ships in you know Frontier Elite 2 and Elite 1984 and all those previous Frontier games that we really haven't seen yet. And it would be really cool to see some of those, like the, uh, like the Tiger Transport or the Laner or a bunch of those ships, the Saker, all that type of stuff. It would be really cool to see those type of ships in uh, Elite Dangerous moving forward. And the final thing that they announced was a brand new feature, which will come out sometime this year. Now, I don't think we've gotten any new features in Elite for almost three years now since Odyssey came out. But I'm really excited to see what this could be. Now, personally, I am hoping for some BGS work. I like the BGS, but I feel like it doesn't affect anything. There's really no point in grinding out all those missions. So maybe some new, you know, some new missions to do or some new systems that make the BGS more fun and less repetitive or maybe something that makes the BGS have an actual impact. I think that would be really, really cool to see some stuff like that come out soon. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit. It has taken Frontier a long time to just come out with these new ships. I personally want to think positive and think that this could be a new era for elite that we could see some changes in frontier and how they've acted in the past but they are frontier and they have you know it's taken them three years to make four new ships for human use so i don't want to get too hopeful yet but i want to say that i'm cautiously optimistic for the future i think that elite could see a turnaround and we could see some you know brand new players and maybe even an increase in player count and get some good activity going again i i want to think and believe that this is going to be a new era for elite but you know what only time will really tell but that's all that came out with the frontier unlock today 
hopefully we'll learn some more stuff about this in the future and hopefully we'll get those new ships very soon anyways that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed hey guys it's headhunter echo here uh i know i'm a pretty small youtuber and all but i do have a patreon i do youtube as a hobby i work quite a bit and really just make videos when i can on what i want to make um so if you guys do want to support me you can head on to my patreon and you know see if you want to do anything honestly any likes and support and comments anything like that really just means the world to me but i just want to say thank you guys anyways have a good one